<laughs> I wiped the drool off my chin. And you got I got up, up and walked, walked out. out. Yeah, exactly. There you Speaking go. of drool on the chin, Chef Carl Chambers is here. Bring it by, by popular demand, bring us something back. Yeah, by popular demand. Um, so I was going to show you guys, we just actually put a couple new items on the menu mm -hmm. um, at livery. We got to the end of the season, which is like uh, corn empanadas, street corn, all those things right. had to come off the menu, even though during COVID, we're trying not to do too many menu changes. Right. Uh, but uh, so people we decided- want to, People want to uh, count on things. That's right. They do <laughs> want to count on things. So um, we brought back yucca fries. Okay. Uh, yucca is a plant, is a root. Uh -huh. um, so if you can imagine this kind of being in, in the ground. In the ground. And then it looks a lot like an agave plant. Yeah. Um, they are native um, to North America and South America. So okay. I actually, Found one in my yard, which is kind of crazy. Um, I've seen so I've seen yucca plants like in landscaping. landscaping if, if I dug absolutely. it up, that's what I get. Well, it probably wouldn't be this, this big. big sure. I, I would think. So, but. so the, is that locally sourced to uh, the degree they can be? The, yes, they are actually. Oh wow! Um, so I they're locally sourced, um, and yucca is really interesting because I was starting to kind of scrape it here a little bit. Yeah. Um, but if you scrape it just a little bit and you start seeing all this pink underneath, it's kind of the pink layer between the white flesh okay. and, and the outer root, that's actually poisonous. Um, so what you, uh, what you have to do is so you So thank you to, to the people hundreds of years ago that figured that out right. so that we know not to do that. Right, so wow. you, have to, you have to peel these all the way down so that there's no more pink. So you wanna get all the way down to that white layer. Okay. Um, and then from there, it's, uh, what we do with them, it's uh, like a two hour boiling process. So we boil them kind of at a low bubble kind of boil okay. um, in a giant pot. And that just soften them and up? And then what or... it does is, yeah, it gets it to a, a softened point, a lot okay. like a potato, uh -huh. um, starchy. Um, so you get to this point where it's kind of soft and starchy. And then we let them cool overnight mm -hmm. um, from there. And then we put them in the deep fryer and fry them up with just like french fries. I love it when you come out here and do things no one in their right mind is ever going to try at home. Uh, <laughs> but it's interesting to see the process. They Always might. You the never process. know. You never know. You're not You're, boiling you anything for two days on a low whatever. <laughs> two hours. I'm not bringing anything. It's, it's not that long. I accidentally leave some pink on and then end up in ER. So, um, so yeah. So it's, we treat it a lot like a potato. Um, sure. Okay. And so what, what we do with it after that to serve it, um, it tastes a lot like a potato. We're mm -hmm. going to pull them out. Um, I fried these before I came here because you guys haven't invested in a deep fryer yet, which I'm going to have to remedy at some point. But mm. um, a little bit of salt I on top. I see a sponsorship opportunity, Carl. The <laughs> Cunningham Restaurant <laughs> Group Deep Fryer. <laughs> Yeah, we could have it right here. Yeah, right. yeah exactly. We'd, we'd have empanadas cooking. We'd have all kinds sense. of stuff cooking. Um, so the sauce we have that have a we doorman at the studio for that. The sauce that we do with it um, is onion soubise. So soubise mm. is kind of one of the um, one of the secondary mother sauces. Okay. Um, but um, sure. Heavy on the onion. That's what thickens it. So mm -hmm. we um, do a lot of onion um, cream. Um, we add a little bit of Chihuahua cheese into that. Okay. And then we're just going to take all these fries and stack them up. Right in there. Right in there. And then we're going to do a little bit more Chihuahua cheese on top. So we'll do a little bit more on top. So this is uh, the livery version of a loaded fry, right? Okay, yeah. Um, and we spice these a little bit with a little bit of chipotle um, pepper seasoning. And then, uh, of course, chef's... Uh, got to put some of the CRG Grow microgreens on Absolutely. top. Absolutely, I understand. Um, so that's one of our appetizers. We're actually using that um, again with the uh, with the red drum dish as well. So it's kind of a dual purpose on the menu. Okay. Um, so there's yucca. Wow. Um, very interesting. Something that you won't find really anywhere else mm -hmm. um, around here anyways. So uh, come out and try it again if you didn't try it the first time around when livery opened three, four years, years ago, ago, something yeah. like that. Wow, it's been that long already. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to do, I'm, I'm working on some polenta for the next segment. Mm -hmm. So polenta, um, a nice uh, wintry dish that we're going to do a fried egg with, some crispy uh, serrano ham. And then we're also going to do some street tacos here in just awesome. a minute. I don't want to put you on a spot, but have you seen the forecast for the weekend? I have seen the forecast is, for the weekend. Uh, the, patios you, you, are open. Okay. That's right. Patios are open. <laughs> patios have been open the last if couple If you of haven't days. seen Livery's outdoor space, if your food stunk, I would still go hang there because the outdoor space is amazing. It's got a great vibe, but the food is amazing too. So CRGDining.com, we'll put the link on IndyStyle.tv.